All right, what's up guys in this video we have 80 packs of champions path We have eight rows here of ten and pretty much these came out of the money special boxes uh, premium boxes Stole on side pin collection and also the Kirchester pin collection. So four different products uh, We actually pulled a Charizard last night from one of the Marnie premium boxes that video will be on the weekend this weekend and this video will probably follow after depending how many pulls we get how many charizards we get i'll post this sooner or later i sold some boxes on the release of the Marnie collection the hat trick box collection and two of my customers actually pulled the charizard so i'm feeling lucky i pulled the charizard my customers pulling charizard we will get the pink collections in november these ones right here so make sure to check out i don't have any social platforms where i post pokemon i only post them on my community page so subscribe here for updates i sell i'm going to sell them for retail and you can get a promo code that brings them a bit under retail as well uh so yeah let's get into this um let's keep everything in frame so yeah that's better so now it's four piles of 20 so you can see right here let's start let's put it so we can show you the hits we have some space for the hits but since it's a big opening we're gonna go straight to the rare something you guys love to see you love it when i do straight to the rare a lot of you i get a lot of good um like comments about that but yeah just an alcrim v here so yeah let me know how your luck's been have you been copying and pulling a lot of people have been pulling this, the Charizard from the Marnie boxes. I haven't pulled one from any products since release weekend and the Marnie Premium Collection box. I've managed to pull one yesterday. Um, and then two of my customers also pulled some. So just a hollow rare in this one. So yeah, let's try and go a bit quicker pace to be honest. Oh, Daruludon V. Are you feeling lucky guys? Am I feeling lucky? I feel lucky to be honest. I feel like we could get something. There's 80 packs here. We did a 100 pack opening. As well, if you want to see the pull rates of that, make sure to check the channel. Um, but boom, boom. <laughs> That's how we do it, guys. Straight away, we got the Charizard V Shiny. Oh my days. That's how we. I told you I was feeling lucky. I told you. I actually have my full Charizard collection here, so I can show you in this video the updated count of how many Charizards we got. This is a problem guys, what, oh, this is why I never like, this is why I like to open as much as I can because you never know where it can be. So in, in la yesterday's video as well where I was mentioned where we pulled the Charizard, I was talking about how I haven't pulled a Charizard since release weekend. So on release weekend we pulled six and then um, between that time and now it's about three, four weeks and I haven't pulled a Charizard since. So uh, we opened a couple hundred packs, maybe five, six, seven hundred packs in that time. And we haven't even pulled the Charizard, but now these money boxes are incredible, guys. Make sure to grab some. Um, let's see. That's crazy. We got one of those. Oh, I can't believe we got already those so soon. Well, Lord V here. But we'll check the condition of that after as well. Can't believe we got one of those. Oh my days. Incredible. Incredible. So yeah. Um, what did, where, which product? So my both my customers pulled theirs out of the special Marnie collection boxes. Both of them, the both of them that copped the special ones, the five pack Marnie, not the eight pack. So a lot of this is the five pack Marnie. So those five pack Marnies could have the best pull rates. Um, shame we're, we're opening in bulk, so we can't calculate. Oh, that's just a hollow rare. Uh, so we can't calculate um, where the pro uh, the hits are coming from uh, because we opened so many. We got the packs out of so many different products. Just an Obstagoon again. But how many hits can we get? We got 80 packs here. I've actually got another eight, so I got 88 in total, but I wanted to do a nice round number. There we go, Glaring Casola already. So I just did, I uh, rounded it to eight, and then I have an extra eight to open in a separate video. We'll do an eight pack opening. Imagine if we get out of those eight packs a Charizard. Just like a small eight pack opening. So, what's the hell? Back to back Glaring Casolas. We always get like the full arts and V Maxes a couple times, like back to back. This is where my batch theory comes in. Everything's printed in batches. But if we got the, if my batch theory is correct and we got the Charizard, that means there should be more Charizards in the same batch because they're printed together. That's my theory. Let me know if you feel the same. Because a lot of people who pull the Charizard end up getting both or two of them. They've got Elder Gospel. I haven't actually pulled Elder Gospel in a long time. Once I cleared uh, one row, I'll clean up the mess on this side. I'll clear up the bulk. The bulk is like about to fall off the table. 
Um, but yeah, my batch theory. Let me know if you agree with that. Everything's printed in batches. That's why you'll see a lot of cards being repeated or back to back. Um, especially Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates, it happened quite a lot. Um, so Hatron, like one of my mates, uh, he pulled a Charizard and then he sold his the rest of his tins and then there was another Charizard in there. Uh, the customer messaged him and told him, thanks, I got the Charizard. So he pulled Charizard, his customer pulled Charizard and uh, they were from the same pack. Ooh, Incineroar, haven't seen that in a while. So yeah, it, I don't know, I pulled some Charizards. Wait, did, oh yeah, one of my customers did as well and I pulled a Charizard from the 2020 reprint Hidden Fates. And um, yeah, we, I didn't even sell that much Pokemon, but we do have a lot of Pokemon on our site and a lot of our customers are getting lucky. I guess we get a lot of good look, hits, we get, got, we get a lot of um, good, um, just a lot of good luck to be honest. Apart from the fact, like I mentioned earlier, I, spent, I bought a couple hundred packs and haven't pulled Charizard since, till yesterday since release day weekend. Literally Friday, Saturday and Sunday of release weekend, I pulled six Charizards and nothing since. So we got money, hello. Wow, I can't believe we've got the Charizard already yet. A lot of, uh, to be honest, we're getting a lot, a lot of these. We have two flots there and just a professor's research. So boom, code card. Let's get the professor's research. Let me clean this big pile of bulk and we'll get back into it. All right. So boom, back in it again. We got Scrafty, hello. Boom, Charizard's not in frame. Let's get that back in frame. Oh, Glaring Obstagoon. Is it focused? Focused. Uh, what do you guys think? We will get another Charizard. 80 pack opening for the Charizard. That is epic. Uh, but that, that batch theory kind of makes sense because if you see uh, Poke Rev, you open 300 packs. Probably got it from the same bulk or like same batch. And you didn't pull a Charizard from that 300. So. Um, I don't even know how they would print it, how they cut it, what sort of, if they're in different sheets, but it kind of makes sense if you think about it. But there's something here, or oh, just a glaring Casola regular V. So what else? We haven't got VMAX yet, so imagine the first VMAX we get is a rainbow VMAX, that'd be cool, but come on, let's see. Just a scrap DV. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, just a money holo. A lot of holo rares as usual. We have so many holo rares, like we have to list that at 99p on eBay. I might have to do 50% discount on that, but I think you get 10% already if you buy more than one. But I might have to do bigger discount. I'll have to see. We try and do the best offers on eBay, the best prices on eBay. So I'll check if anyone's doing better than me on offers, and then I have to kind of compete with that. But then we got a God of War V. Finally, how many hits do we get in this row? I swear we haven't got a hit yet. Apart only the blaring for solar, but that's about it, really. Scrafty. Uh, Zygarde Hollow. Over there. We also opened a booster box, 36 packs yesterday. Got a couple rainbow rares in that video. Ooh, ah, oh, first Dread, I mean, first VMAX, the Dreadnought VMAX. So that's not bad, that's really good. These are, what are these? These are about seven, I think, and the rainbow version is 17 pounds. The only reason I mentioned the values, guys, because it's interesting to know how much they're worth, uh, because if you, obviously, if you got, like, opening as much packs as me, you're gonna sell the doubles, the stuff you don't need, and then you're gonna put that money back into more packs, or just put it back in your bank, just break, try and break even, but with this set, it's very, very difficult, unless you pull Charizard. I'm happy we at least got one Charizard, to be honest. That's really, really good. So we got Scraft TV. Oh, something here. Ah, oh, Eldegoss V. So yeah, no other secret rares just yet, but we still have plenty of packs to go through. Um, let's see. Boom. Alright, let me clear this pile and I'll get back into it. Alright, let's go. What's here? What's here? Oh, just a hatch and holo rare. Let me know what is your favorite holo rare. Obviously, if you open a couple, quite a lot of these, you're going to have probably... It's so easy to get the holo rare since you get them every pack. But what's your favorite? Which ones have you kept in your collection, if any? And also, do you master complete? Because I actually don't master complete. I'm very picky of what I keep. Um, in this set, only rainbow... Um, God of War, but I haven't got a minty version. I want to get like a gem mint um, God of War V Max and just like this one. 
Uh, but Gemin, God of War, VMAX, Rainbow I need. And then I've got obviously the two Charizards. Pretty much only cards I need. From each set, there's cards I need. So um, every time I open a set, I'll know which cards. That's why we open every single set, regardless if it's popular, if there's any Charizards in it or not. Oh, Dreadnought, first time pulling that in this video. Uh, because there's always cards in every single set. Like Rebel Clash, there's like three, four cards in there. Five cards, I think, in Rebel Clash I need. Every set, there's a card I need. So let me know how do you collect Master Complete or you're a specific card com uh, <laughs> collector like myself. Oh, so these are facing the other way. These could be uh, Stow on side and the Kirchester pin boxes. So there's a Hollow Ray. I don't know. It's just obviously all the packs are muddled up now because I did the thumbnail, as you can see from the thumbnail. But oh, we got a hop for lot. So, finally a full art. We haven't got a full art since row one, I'm pretty sure. Or was it row two? We got those two. Uh, what did we get? We get, it was a glaring Casola, right? And then we got Hollow Rare. I want to get some more packs, guys. What do you reckon? Hopefully, we can get some in. But, Lycanroc Hollow Rare. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, something there. Oh, yes. I'll put the reverses. The only reason I put the reverses to the side, reverse energies, is because they sell out so quickly on eBay. I want to sleeve them up because they're very easy to get scratched as well. So I'll just restock them, etc. But then, Professor's Research are hollow rare again. So yeah, we're flying through this. We've done over 40, 50 packs, like, yeah, over f nearly 50 packs. Oh, Venus or V, first time getting this in this video. Um, so we've done about 50 packs now. We are in row three, halfway, so that's another 10, so 50 in total, 100%. Uh, so yeah, 50 packs in about 12 minutes. Who opens as quick as me? But obviously, on the bigger openings, is may as well go quick. Otherwise, what? You're gonna make it a 40 minute video. Yeah, I'll get bored, you get bored, and there's no point of us getting bored, so. Uh, yeah, that's why we go quick on the big openings. Like eight pack opening, like I'm about to do with Champions Popping, go fourth in the back. I'll probably still be quick because there's only eight packs, but um, yeah. So, what are we getting? Oh, we got Glaring Casola there, but oh, I like and rock Hollow Red there. Oh, Altaria. Have we got many? We haven't got many Altarias today. I think that might be in the first one. I can't even keep track of the Hollow Reds, to be honest. A lot of Marnies. Sorry, it's a little bit out of focus. When we get something good, I'll focus it back in. I guess I'll just focus it here. Oop. Hey, we got an Incineroar V. So about to finish off 60 packs now. Only one Charizard, which I can't complain about. Oh, I wonder which product it came from. That's why we like to do our specific videos on certain products. And we can see, ooh, it was worth buying this box because we got this card out of it, etc. But when I do big bulk openings like this, only problem is I can't work out which product is which. Uh, but Hatron Hollow Rare, especially when I got to take the thumbnail, that's the problem. Otherwise, I could have kept them in specific rows because I have to take them, do a thumbnail all together, they just get muddled up. Uh, but Altaria. Ooh, God of All V. Okay, so. We just did 60 packs, I just opened another one from the other row, so we're on 61 packs. Last 19 left now. Oh, doing this quickly to be honest, and to be honest, I'm pretty gassed because we still got the Charizard there. We got Marnie Hollow. Altaria. Oh, let me move the bulk away, it just fell, so let me move that away back into it look half opened where, where did i open it did i even open it no i didn't even open it imagine there was a charizard in here oh thankfully not because it was a half oh well, i wouldn't even mind if it was charizard but you guys wouldn't have like, experienced it in one um a champ like and rock what do you reckon guys put your predictions in the comments now how many you think we're gonna get? Or how many V's we're gonna get? How many secrets? Will we get another secret? Let me know in the comments. Uh, we have about 15 left, I think. I'm not sure, I didn't keep track. Just a hat trim, hollow rare. Hat trim again. We've 
glaring obstacle. Just hollow rares so far, that's a problem. We're, one of our videos, I don't know, but we had like at least 20 hollow rares in a row or something like that. Like 10, 15, okay. It's facing the other way. A very small few that face the other way. I wonder what product that comes from. I see something here. Uh, oh, just a V. Oh, we got a Venusaur V. There we go. I reckon it's the Kerchester boxes that face the other way. Um, or could be Marnie, to be honest. So you can see the back wall. And the back wall is stacked in, in rows by a yeah, hop. For the rare there. Glaring Obstagoon there. Oh, this one. Oh, we got a crimped card. I think we, the code card's just been stuck in the pack, so you can see. So uh, when they try to seal it in the factory, it's been stuck there. You can see the crims on the top. If that what was the hit, oh, I just didn't see the roll. But it looks like the cards were fine. The cards were below the the code card, but the code card didn't make it. I would sell this, but obviously you guys will be using it, so there's no point. So like, you can sell crimped error cards for like a little bit more than they're worth. So if you get like a crimped error holo rare, instead of 99p, you can get like two pound for it. So there are collectors for that. I don't know how well that would grade, to be honest. I don't know if they have a specific grade for that, but yeah, four packs left, guys. Whoa, we went for it quick. Over 76 packs we went through already. There's our reverse holo there. I'll put that there. Focus it back up. Altaria. Oh, I can't believe we just got one Charizard. Well, we still got eight more packs, which I'll open in a separate video. But I'll creamy V, and then we got one more pack left. Oh, I was going to do four from the back, but I totally forgot. But we had a very, very good opening, guys. Just the holler in the last pack. But yeah, that's the back wall. Obviously, we are stacked with hits, as you can see, just packed with hits and hits and hits. So yeah, let me give you a total recap and give you the like, total value of everything we pulled from 80 packs. Out of 80 packs, we got so many hits and obviously like 80 hollows as well. Um, but you know why we did so well in this opening. Let's go for it. We got Eldegoss V, we got Casola V. Uh, Casola V again. Uh, God of all V, God of all V. The total value will be in the corner. That'll be the accurate market price with the current market price of the time this video goes live. But we got a Creamy V, two of those, Venusaur V, Incineroar V. How many Incineroar Vs do we get? We get three, nice. Duraludon, Lucario V, Eldegoss V, and then here are the full arts. We got Glaring Casola V, two of those, Hop Full Art, and then we got Dreadnought V Max, but not to mention we also have this bad boy as well. We got a full art. I'm not even a full art, I mean shiny full art Charizard. I'm just gonna check the back. The back looks pretty good on this one. Um, the yesterday's one wasn't that great, but the corners, everything look really, really good on this one. Uh, a little bit dusty, I'll sort it out at the end. So boom, here we go. This is my like, so yeah, this is my Charizard update. We have six shiny Charizards and two rainbows. So the rainbows are much more limited in my opinion. But yeah, we pulled one of these yesterday. I can't, obviously, we've got six here. I'm not sure which exactly one we pulled. Um, but yeah, another one to the addition. So eight in total from this set. Beautiful. I need to get some more of these. Should I trade some of these to get some of these? Or let me know down in the comments. Uh, but guys, I appreciate all the support. All the, uh, recently, all last six videos got over a thousand views. Vivid Voltage, we uploaded Vivid Voltage as well. Um, our first video on YouTube actually of Vivid Voltage, so you can see we have six pre release Zards. We have the regular Zards here. If you love Zards, then this video is for you. I think I only kept two. Did I keep two? Um, I think I sleeved one up. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's one of them, and this is probably the best condition one, so I'm gonna send that. These will be in the binder collection. But yeah, some teasers from Vivid Voltage video. So if you want to see our Vivid Voltage video, make sure to check that out. But yeah, another. Charizard to the collection. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and thank you everyone for all the support, etc. I uh, really appreciate it. But if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.